the Urawa Reds move to joint second in the J League after stealing a late win over Kashiwa Racel on Saturday. The Reds fell behind early when Daisuke Nasu's header was bundled over the line. But they hit back just before the break, Tsukasa Umasaki poking the ball past a desperate Koji Inada in the Kashiwa goal. It looked as though the honours would be shared with neither side able to get a second. That was until Brazilian substitute Popo made his mark off the bench. The striker pouncing on a lapse in concentration in the race all defence spoke home an injury time winner. Urawa's win brings them level on points with second place Vigalta Sandai, who went down 3-1 at Shimizu Espuls. Vigalta looked on course for their fifth win in six matches, when Noaki Sugai opened the scoring after just 14 minutes. And it didn't look like Shimizu's day when they had this effort cleared off the line. But a devastating burst from the host in the final 20 minutes saw them claim the three points. First, South Korean striker Hyun Sung Kim leveled the scores on 70 minutes. And with six minutes to go, Espulse were in front, Yuji Sonuma heading home from a corner. Kim sealed the win in added time, his spectacular long-range effort helping Shimizu jump to sixth in the table. At the other end, Albirex Nigata struck a blow in their fight against relegation, thumping top three hopefuls Nagoya Grampus 5-0. With the score locked at 0-0 at half-time, few would have predicted the avalanche of goals to come. Just needed the touch. Striker Michael kicked things off, netting from the penalty spot to put Albirex one up just before the hour. And the Brazilian was on hand eight minutes later to double his tally and his team's advantage. It only got worse for Nagoya from there. Defender Naoki Ishikawa turning the ball into his own net to make it 3-0. Another Brazilian then got in on the act. Bruno Lopez curling home a delightful late effort. And our breaks weren't done there, as substitute Shusuke Suboshi grabbed a fifth deep into injury time. So, Vigalta's defeat deals a big blow to their title hopes, leaving them five points behind tabletoppers Sanfrecci Hiroshima, who thrashed Sagan Tosu. Urawa's victory puts them level with Vigalta on 48 points, but Jubilo Iwata slipped further behind the top three after defeat at Tokyo. Albirex moved to within two points of safety, hot on the heels of Gambro Saka and Omira Adija.